So, just like the last Detroit Red Wings pick that we had seen, Steve Eiserman is at it again with yet another one of these really good passers in the NHL draft. Now, I'm going to pronounce his name the Czech way because that's what Google Translate goes out there and says, but out of the Prince George Cougars in the WHL, the Detroit Red Wings have selected with the 80th overall pick, Andre Becher. And that is the difficult way of going out there and trying to pronounce a name that I honestly have no idea how to. Becher. We're just going to go with that for now. I don't want to say Becher just in case I want to butcher his name, but Becher is an interesting name because he is a double re-entry into this draft. He's already 20 years old, 6 feet, 187, center winger, left-handed guy, and his rank by Elite Prospects was 132nd overall. Now, the thing is, Craig Button ranked him 56th, McKean's had him at 82, and the Red Wings took him at number 80. So, if you're going by some of the projections, some of them were really accurate, others were a lot more low on this guy. Future Considerations, for example, had him at 250, which it's kind of understandable to see why when you acknowledge that he is 20 years old. Normally, these overage guys vary quite heavily in the draft compared to different lists. But Andre Becher, either way, had himself a really good season with the Prince George Cougars, 96 points in 58 games played, 19 points in 15 games in the playoffs, and he had 10 points in 7 games with the World Juniors. Now, of course, you have to remember, he is 19 turning 20, recently turned 20, so he's not eligible for the next year's World Junior Championship anyway. But Andre Becher still had himself a pretty good season, all things considered. He's a cerebral tactician, playmaker kind of guy, and with a combination of dynamic transition skills and off-puck details, Becher is a consistent contributor. In transition, he works well with give-and-goes, he attacks on angles, uses the trailer, and delays as defenders close in on him. He's a pretty good player who's got some great offensive abilities, hockey sense, and passing, but his skating does need a little bit of work. It's the biggest reason as to why he was taken in the Draft Plus 2 eligible season that he had. He wasn't drafted in 2022, he wasn't drafted in 2023, although he was eligible for both of those years. You could see why, though, why he might not have been all too confident amongst NHL scouts. He was under a point per game in junior in Czechia as an 18-year-old draft eligible. He is at 38 points in 63 games played with the Cougars last year in his draft plus one. And so in his draft plus two, he really needed an explosive season to get on the radars of NHL scouts. And that's what he did. 96 points was totally awesome in the WHL. He was one of the top point producers in the entire league, rounding out the top 13 with his near 100 point season. If you go over to the points per game, he also was up there. He was a top 10 guy. So Steve Eiserman is taking a chance here on a guy who exhibited some really good playmaking and offensive capabilities, but who does need to work on his skating as he contributes to higher levels of play. Because he is a 20-year-old guy, it wouldn't be surprising if he signed a contract as soon as he could, but we'll have to wait and see there what the plan is with Becker. Becker, oh, there you go, I said it, Becher. Let's just try to roll with that as the days and weeks go on here. But either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the 80th overall Detroit Red Wings prospect, Andre Becher, a player who needs a lot of work, but who has some good offensive skills to boot and was a double overager in the WHL. I hope you enjoyed this video, Ashworth 99, and bye.